Hello, hello, and welcome to Foundation, our medieval city building game, where we are right now building the city of Kelir, which at the moment is but a small village, a village of a handful of houses, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight houses. They seem to have changed this a little bit, the algorithm on how they build the houses, because now it removes a bunch of houses and then builds on top of it if it's more efficient, I think. Uh, let's quickly jump in and see if we have enough resources mapped out. We do, but they're clearing out these trees right now because these are a little bit far off. That's good, that's convenient. So let's quickly jump in to see what we have been doing. Right, so what have we been doing? We have a couple of markets here, one of them selling bread and the other one selling berries. We've got one bread and three berries. One villager lacks space for housing, it says. Uh, there seem to be plenty of space for housing, but still they are missing a little bit of housing. I don't want to do it here, right? That's what we said. Of course, we could do a little bit of housing with the keeps coming there, so we can't do housing there either. Uh, we might need to expand or we might need to get some housing here. This seems to be a nice spot for houses. But that's at the edge of our map. Right, so we need 500 gold to release another lot so that we can get some housing in it. So for the time being, we are going to keep it at that. This is your village center, cannot, I am not abandoning it. Uh, why, what makes you think I'm abandoning it? I am not abandoning it. Uh, so let's unpause this building because all of our construction is complete. So let's see if we can complete this and then quite possibly get a few houses over here. Because I think the keep's gonna come in here and then you've got two training fields here, which means we could get a bunch of houses here Let's see. Uh, rest of the things are going pretty fine. I don't see any reason for us to worry. Uh, we have how many free? We have two free people. I don't want to assign you here, but I could assign some of you guys here though. Is this done to the max? No. So I can assign one person here and one person here fill out the millers the next person who comes will be a baker oh no bad weather that's okay most of what we do is gathering berries so that should be fine you are gathering berries here and why is that is there a gatherer's hut here somewhere no, you are coming all over from here to gather berries from here. I should probably get a gathering hut here. That might be a good idea. We need to get these berries anyway at some point of time. So might as well just have a gathering hut over there. Right, so things are going fine. We are at the moment growing. Not so fast, but it's good. It's good. It's not so bad. We need to figure out what we need to do next, what we can do next, because we've got this infrastructure here. What else? I said we needed sheep farms, right? So we could possibly get a sheep farm nestled over here i think that was the plan so we get a sheep farm over here All right that's what i was going for so we get a sheep farm over here and we can get a bunch of the tailoring and all of those facilities here alternatively we could get the sheep farm here as well at this edge and then get the trailing facilities here that should also be fine 
So out of four people, three people have decided to join us. Splendid. I think we are going to get a sheep farm. Just because people have decided to join us. Which is good news. And we shall reward that good news with a sheep farm. So we've cleared most of the trees over here, actually, which is good. But our plan is to get fishing piers off of here, which means we need to unlock this plot at some point of time. One. We're making one gold. That's abysmal income. We have a lot of bread stored, though. Is it getting stored here? Yeah, there's 65 bread here. Can we sell the bread, though? We cannot. We need common clothes so that we can sell bread to middle. I guess that will be open for us shortly. An envoy is approaching us. Let's hope he wants bread. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's galloping through the forest. Yes. That was fun. What do you need? You need me to deliver berries? I don't seem to have berries, but I don't mind trying to deliver these berries to you. So let's see what it is, like where we could use with some points. A rustic church with the clergy. Mm, okay. Wooden wall, large stone wall, not so interested in the walls. We need the fisher hut, for which we need 20 serfs. And we need 6 points of prestige, we have 4.9. We aren't going to get the prestige anywhere, but we could get a bit of gold. That's alright, so let's give it to the peasants. Uh, jump to speed 3 and let's try and see if stockpiling works because last time it didn't work well enough so let's ask them to stock maximum so it'll stock it up to 100 it won't let them withdraw so there won't be any berries I'm sorry guys but you can have all the bread that you want This town looks much prettier, much prettier than the previous town that we were playing in. Oh, all four people have decided to join us. Oh my, we need the houses. I wonder if we could get some temporary houses here. Over here. And then later on we can just pull them off. Like we can remove the houses. Houses don't need much except for water I guess. But then again, that what? Oh, it turns. What? What is it? Does it turn red? It was red, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a different shade of color. See, it's red. Another villager has decided to join us. That's good guess it turns red if there's something pending there's a bunch of villagers here all of them just stacking up there waiting for us to give them some work it's coming it's coming i promise you we have a berry hut we have the sheep's farm we have a lot of things in the works Ooh, that's exactly right exactly at the at the border we're able to fill it up to like I'd say 90%, which is good. See, it's become red. How many berries do we have? We have seven berries. 
Do we have any in the working in the gathering hut? We have five berries there. They aren't being transported yet. Dominic and Victoria. What's up with you guys? See what the hell just happened. They took the berries. You know what? I'm just gonna take Walter off of this job. Just so we can stockpile a bunch of berries for ourselves. It's not gonna take that long actually. Villager is leaving due to unhappiness. Are you shitting me? We are at 99 happiness. Look at this hoity-toity little villager. He's like, oh no, you're not at 100. So I'm going to leave now. now. That's some dark times because we have enough bread stored. I don't think we have... Actually, we have enough crops. But when they harvest it, will we get enough or not? Something I don't know. We have a bunch of flour here, I guess. Do we? We have like one flour here. Uh, we have no wheat in storage. We have how much wheat? We've got like one wheat. Sorry, not one flour. We've got one wheat here. And we have two flour here. So which basically means we are going to take a beating. So we need to try and see that this 173 bread, if it runs out, we get berries quickly to come in and replace them. Speaking of, I think I'm going to prioritize this just so we can get three people to come in there and start producing more berries for us. Uh, almost there. Need five more. Five more should come in really soon. It would seem like it, doesn't it? Three more, one more, and somebody's checking out the berries. Oh, you took out some bread. That's all right. Seven bread, take them all. Well, not all of them, but do take the bread. Just not the berries yet. There's the rains. I think we can hear it hit the water, especially when we're here. Like the droplets, the rain raindrops hit the water, which is fantastic. This is something that we didn't hear last time. So we have enough berries. We've dispatched the berries and let's hire our marketing person here. Well, Emma's decided to step in. That's good, Emma. We need one more wood. And with that, this would be complete. So then we can quickly assign three people here. I think we have enough. We've got three, six, seven. So I can assign one person here. I can maximize this, although that is going to be useless for us right now. We're getting the wheat in. We have three wheat here. How much wheat? We have two wheat here. Oh no, wheat's going to be a problem. So the harvest does get affected as soon as the rains start. Point noted. Where is our woodcutters though? Didn't we have one here somewhere? There's one here. Do we want to get another woodcutters? Well, we have money to buy more land so we could technically buy this piece or we could buy let's buy this piece because we can at least start fishing then if we get the fishermen that is so if we get this we can start our fishing maybe build something here and probably I go for this next I don't know seems like there's an awful lot of waste with the water so I might just go up here. I don't know. I don't know. We shall see. So the gathering hut's done. 
So let's assign three people there because that's critical. Hoping this will get done soon. The all right, it needs cloth. I've got you. I shall get you the cloth pretty soon. So with this done here, we can have a stocking system here or we can just have them cross over over here, stock it over here so we can make our little tailoring whatnot over here because it's going to get stocked here anyway, isn't it? So we could get the wool here or should we just drop in another warehouse? That could be good too. For the time being though, I want to make that and this clothes. So I'm guessing we just lost all that stone. Seems like the stone just vanished. But that's okay. We have plenty of stone here and the stone places are like really efficient. We don't need that much stone anyway right now. So this should be good. So let's go into the construction. Let's get ourselves a what is that called what is he called he is called a weaver how are you locked didn't i just get this didn't i just get a sheep farm how the hell are you locked guess we have to wait for the promotions at least i can get stockpiling some wool where did the miller go didn't oh was he the guy who left the town <sighs> you guys give up really soon you know that's the problem you just give up and you just leave you have to stick with it a little bit Wondering if I should make this like a storage hub kind of place thingy. There's a monk who's coming towards the town. Which is nice. We can see what he wants. He might want something important. There's still space here. There is still plenty of space for you to farm. I think we will actually go in for another granary over here. How many people are employed here? We've got three people employed here, Acha. Actually, this is a really good situation. I don't see why we need to change this. Don't actually think we do need to change it. And all the flour and all the wheat is being used up anyway. It's not like we have a surplus. So I could just go in and do this. Promotions please. No. Monk is requesting our... What do you want? You want planks? I did have planks, didn't I? I could say this and we could see if we can up our plank production. We have 16 planks, but we have zero wood. Do we need another woodcutters? That might actually be good for us. Uh, where are you? You are here. So all of these trees, I'm guessing, are for cutting. Yep. So we have woodcutters here. If I can get a woodcutters here, he would probably take care of this entire forest. And maybe we shift our little person here over here we have a bunch of trees here as well so we could get a woodcutters here as well okay so let's do that let's get a lumber camp to go here and let's get a lumber camp to go here We'll prioritize this so that as soon as this is done, oh yeah, promotions. We need one commoner, it says. Unemployed. Let's make the unemployed person the commoner. 
and number of serfs how many serfs do we need here we need 20 serfs how many do we have we have 20 serfs so technically that should be unlocked is it just waiting for splendor i guess it's just waiting for splendor we will just wait for it then a uh, bunch of stuff just got unlocked which is strange because they were already available to us walter walter is going to be our shepherd four so we have four sheep here one of these is going to be mr fluffy butt for sure right this is done this is done time to go in here and demolish you delete yep so all of our woodcutters are deployed right now so we should see a surge in wood from having zero wood we should go on to having enough wood that's good so the rain seemed to be battering us quite hard that should not be a problem for us for long because we do have a healthy stockpile of bread and we are going to be seeing more berries come in just because this is complete so i mean not yet but pretty soon so let's just deploy one more guy here so he can keep rushing back and forth from the berry hut to get the berries for us and everything basically like i am i am seriously considering moving this to a much more central location probably here right next to the keep that might be a good idea the problem is that we have a lot of uh a lot of bread stored here so maybe for an interim period i would have the bread shipped out eventually huh i don't know so let's just get the granary in here because i mean it's going to be crucial to have the granary here because anyway we have berries here we have berries here and we're going to have a bunch of more farms here and we have berries here and berries here too so all these berries are going to have to feed in somewhere and this is a very central really nice location i like this location like it a lot so let's go into the granary and let's get ourselves a little granary nestled up in here how many free people do we have but they're all free people because they're all you know free per se they can pursue their freedoms as they want but how many of them are unemployed is a question there's a lot of activity here love to see all this activity so woodcutters are being really efficient about what they're doing which makes me think more that i want to get either this part or this part just for the wood there's a small little crowd of wood here as well we could do that too we'll see we'll see we can stockpile some gold for the time being that's not an issue because we are importing tools and we most definitely will need money for that is the wool coming in oh there's plenty of wool there's plenty of wool so let's go get ourselves a weaver's hut over here and let's get ourselves a tailor's workshop right behind it that's the entrance that should be fine building complete granary let's assign a couple of people let's say this is going to be two berries one fish one bread we don't have fish yet but we will shortly i think it's available for us to build is it not 
I guess not. We'll have to wait for that to be available. So let's get in here and let's tell them to empty all this stock from here. Hopefully the stock gets moved here. There it is. There it is. Right, so this is completely empty, so I can delete this. And let's get a bunch of more people here. Couple of transporters will be without jobs. That is expected. Might actually help us to get another granary in here. Like so. This is going to be our industrial hub. For sure, this is our industrial hub. So as that granary gets built, on that note, I'm going to put a quick cut in this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe. Oh my, look at this. Look at this fluorescence. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe if you like the content which I'm putting through. If you have any comments, please do comment in the comment section below. I love to read your comments. And take care now. Bye-bye then.